Look at that pot room, so moist and juicy. The veggies is steaming up, steaming up my phone while I'm taping this because it's so moist. I want you to see how juicy it is when you do it in a bag. Hi everybody, I'm making one of my favorite dishes. Yes, that pot roast. I got that boneless beef chuck roast at Save-A-Lot. You can get it at any local grocery store for two and a half pounds, $14.08. That wasn't bad, that's a nice size for me and my husband. Got onions, green peppers, and you can cut them to your liking. I like all my veggies large and my pot roast. I wanna taste them because I love veggies. These carrots, I had to keep from eating them, y'all. I love carrots and celery and just um, I didn't slice the carrots at all I want them in my pot roast because um, they're going to get soft anyway I want them whole because I love carrots and the celery the potatoes yes I cut some and some of them I didn't because they already small like you can eat a whole one of these potatoes so seasoned flour, I got garlic powder, onion powder, accent, body oil, complete season, and season oil. That's what I'm going to use for my seasoning. So I'm going to clean this meat off. And guess what? You're going to be surprised to see what I put this in. Yup, yup, you guessed it. I'm going to put this in a bag. So I'm going to use the oven bag and put this in the oven with the oven bag. And it usually comes out so soft, tender, moist, and delicious. You don't have to do nothing extra to it. First, you have to put some flour in the bag. I put it in there and shake it up. It's going to make a lot of noise. So shake it up. And so now, after I put the flour in the bag and I shake it up, and of course, your bag look a little dusty, it's because to keep the bag from bursting once you start cooking it in the oven, I'm going to add my veggies in. I already seasoned my meat, and I'm going to add my veggies in, and I'm going to season my veggies as well. So season it to your liking. You don't want to over season it. And if you're not comfortable with your seasons, you can wait until you put everything in and season it. But I like to layer my seasons when I'm doing a pot roast so you can taste all the flavor, savoring all those flavors. Okay, I got her looking fabulous. You can look it in, you can see the seasoning. And some of the seasoning looks like it's off because I did put a half a cup of water in there. So and that flour will make a little odd like a gravy, unless you just want to make your own gravy. I usually just use the drippings and it tastes so delicious. So that would be good to use. And you can put it over mashed potatoes, rice, whatever you want. Usually I try to make a different side dish because I had potatoes already in here. I would make something different like macaroni and cheese. And sometimes I still make mashed potatoes anyway and just put it over that. So we're going to put this baby in the oven for 350 degrees. Cook about an hour and a half to two hours. I have to check um, when I'm doing it and depending on the amount of veggies I use. And because I put I put extra veggies, sometimes these veggies are cooked down like it's nothing in there. You'll be like, what happened to the veggies? So you'll get plenty of veggies with it. But if you just like all that meat, meat, don't put all these veggies in there. And I did not eat pepper. My husband did not eat pepper. But what I do, I will put, when I make um, some of my dishes like this one, I will put pepper on my food after it's cooked. But not with the whole dish while I'm cooking it because my husband don't like the pepper. You got to be mindful what your family like while you're cooking. Okay, and I have it tied at the end. I put the tie on it and I have, um, I think I put six. Most bags will tell you four or six slots. Um, little slits to put in the bag. Um, I put them, I usually put them on the sides. And then I put some on this side. 
and sometimes like one or two in the middle. Put the lower, poke the lower holes so the air can, some of the steam can get out the bed and your bed won't burst completely open. So here it is, the pot roast in the bed. And I promise you it comes out so juicy and fork tender. It's the best. Once I used to make them in the crock pot at times, and in the oven, I haven't made one in my air fryer. Maybe I'll try that another time. But this bag recipe is a no-fail recipe. If it's your first time making one, use the oven bag. I promise you, your family going to thank you a chef. And look at her. Everything's looking so good. I'm going to slice it up and let you have a little piece. Look at that pot roast, so moist and juicy. The veggies is steaming up, steaming up my phone while I'm taping this because it's so moist. I want you to see how juicy it is when you do it in a bag. Now I'm gonna plate it up and put some smothered gravy on it and give y'all, let y'all see my husband plate with everything on it, macaroni and cheese and everything. That's cornbread dressing I made, homemade back macaroni and cheese, my mecca smack and rooney. And these green beans, they aren't fresh. I made them out the can. Now I'm gonna pour some gravy on the pot roast. And I use the um, drippings, the all jars from the pot roast bag. Okay, and that's the pot roast with the gravy all in it.